Welcome back to Airstream Restoration with SketchUp. In this particular video I'm going to look at components and how you can use components to organize a more complex drawing like this 1955 Airstream trailer of 24 feet in length and also how you can then take different parts and edit them uh, in new openings of SketchUp as a way to control your work. So let's get started. First of all, if I click on the trailer, you'll see that a large blue box encompasses the entire trailer. So what I've done is I've made the whole project one um, component. So if I click on it and hit hide, the entire thing disappears. If I go back up to edit, up here in the upper uh, left hand corner, click it, sorry, uh, go up into the upper corner and click on it and come down to unfide, unhide last, you'll see that our image reappears. Now part of the other thing in working with components, you can do them by the way the order you create them, you can do them in layers which gives you the opportunity to work on different parts at different times. So I'm going to click on this again and you see the entire thing. If I click in this area again, double click and then click again, okay what happens is I just have this top set. For just so let's go ahead and hide it so we can see what it entails. You see that that removed the shell and now what I'm looking at is the entire furnishings of our trailer. If I click on it you'll notice another large box and I can also take that and hide that and now I just have the floor of the trailer and the frame underneath. I can even separate that into parts which I'll show you maybe in a minute. Alright if I want to bring these back again I can go to the upper left hand corner hit edit and come down to unhide and you'll notice I have several selections last or all. In this case I'm going to hit last which will bring out all the things that I put in here last and uh, click on this again you see here's the entire unit click on this one again actually click and then double click let's hide this and I'm back into the furniture element all right, why is this important? And you'll notice this is about three layers in. So I can click on my furnishing section. I have the whole thing. And I can take any particular part and double click and then click again and that will hide individual parts. All right, so the th advantage of that is once I have a particular highlighted part, I can move it by either coming over here to the left and pick up the move key or I can just hit the M key which gives me the move symbol and that gives me ability to grab this and you see I could move this part anywhere around in the trailer to try for different arrangements of the parts so let's say I'd move it clear up here which I wouldn't do in the finished item because there happens to be a door there but just for showing now I want to click on an item again and I don't want the move uh, cursor here so I'm going to hit the space bar and that brings back the select arrow I click on that I'm going to hit the M key to move and now I can choose to move this over here to see if how it fits there or wherever I might do it and then let go if I want to return everything to back where it was before I started doing these I can hit control Z it removes one control Z again brings that back to the original and you can see that everything's back in its reg regular shape so it's a really nice way to move around in your design and move parts and work with the different parts all right that second thing that we can do that's kind of a neat tool I think when you're working with a complicated design again I need to get rid of this move tool I'll hit the space bar and you can see when I, as soon as I move the mouse I get the select key I'm going to hit and select the sink area and if I go up to edit copy I can copy that sink into a file 
up that's up a hidden file at the moment. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to work with this item. So I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to hit New to select a new SketchUp uh, work area. So I'll click on New. It asks me if I want to make any saves on this, and I'm going to say No. And here's my new version of SketchUp Pro ready to work. All right, so again what I'm going to do, right now I've got the pencil I don't want, so I hit the space bar again. I'm going to go up to Edit, and this time I'm going to hit Paste in Place. And what it's going to do is paste the sink that we just move up into the new SketchUp, but it's in the exact same place in the trailer that it was before. So now I can just edit this item. I'm going to click off of it. And, you know, you can see I can move it around. I can get here and see it real clearly. And I could do a lot of work to modify it. And SketchUp will generally work faster when you do this <coughs> just because uh, this is much simpler. It's only one item rather, rather than having to deal with the whole trailer. And I think what I'll do just for fun, I'm going to open this up and say, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to click on this little circle right here. There we go. And if I use the pull tool, which over at the left is this tool, but once again I can just hit the P key. Sorry, that keeps popping up. I hit the, the pull, and I can pull this down to begin to create and make the drain and where I want the drain to go in this example. Now, since I've done that, I can do two things. If I want to come back and work on this again and be able to play with it, maybe I want to put a different stove in, I want to change the size of the sink, I'm going to go up to File, and I'm going to do Save As, and I'm going to title this one different. I'm going to put it, in this case, I'm going to name it 55 Sink Cabinet and hit save. So if I want to come back to this, I can. Now again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my select arrow and drag a box over the entire area, which will highlight the whole item. I'm going to go up again to edit, and I'm going to put copy. And now I've replaced this change with the old one. Now I'm going to go back and open. See, here is the one, the original one we opened. I'm going to click on that. It says, do I want to make change saves? And this time I'm going to say yes, because I might want to come back and do on that. Do some more work on it. If I go back into my original drawing, and I'm going to hide the shell. Here's my sink, and I'm going to turn it around so that you can see that the sink that I've been making the changes on uh, doesn't have the drain pipe. I'm going to click on it, click in until I get it. I'm going to right click and say erase, and then I'm going to go up to edit and paste in place. And now I have my new sink with the new drain in place. And so I've created this change in my original complete design without moving or having the chance of messing up any other parts of my drawing. So the thing that I want you to see is then that it gives you a lot of ability to move, work with parts, change things without having the chance of destroying your whole drawing in the process. Now just for the heck of it, I'm going to click on this top furniture part. I'm going to hide it. Oop. Sorry about that. I'll do Control Z to bring that back. All right, because what I need to do is just get to the furniture part. There we go. And I'm going to do right click, hide, so that I just have the trailer part here. And if I cl click on just the trailer part, I have, I think right now, the floor. So I'm going to right click, hide. I got the whole thing. So again, go Control Z to bring that back. So I actually had the whole thing. I'm going to go back and just get part of it. Let's see, I think I want this. There, now I can see because of the blue, I just have the floor and the uh, bottom pan sides, and I do not have the frame. So if I hide that, do 
do that again hide now I have just the frame so if I wanted to do some work then with the figuring out where I want to put holding tanks or where I want to put plumbing electrical other kinds of things I have this out here by itself so that I can do that kind of work I'm gonna click back here you see I have brought back that go up to file and I'm gonna come down unhide all and what happens sometimes you notice the rest didn't show up the reason is because I'm so far down in this layer so if one of the ways I can do I can click on this see so I bring that up but the other thing I can do is go up to view up in the upper left here click on view click hidden geometry and then everything that's in my design shows up as a line drawing and if I click on the line drawing now I can come in here see that I've got it highlighted with a blue box right click unhide and I can bring the items back so it gives us a great deal of freedom it takes a little practice to get used to where your levels are and how deep your levels are but I think just by going through this I've shown you that even if you can't find a level if you go up to the view hidden and I'm gonna take the hidden off now and what's happened see all these dotted lines those are hidden if I click on t turn that off those disappear and I see the simple line drawing of my trailer again so the purpose of this particular tutorial was to talk about components alright and show you how to use them before I go what I ought to do is I'm gonna shut that one down and let's say oh I wanna work with components where are they go to Windows and this has Windows has all the different items that you can bring up as little boxes to work on click on component here's the box it opens up alright now these aren't my components if I click on this little house symbol it'll bring all the components up that I have made for this particular drawing so that I can click on or use any of those things but it also gives me a good reference file and you can edit and do some other things which we'll talk about later all right so if I don't want this window in my way I come up on the blue part of the bar click on it and you see now I just have the little box as a reference I can go back to when I need to so this tutorial again was components how to use components as a way to organize a complex design to make it a little simpler to work on and also give you the opportunity to take individual parts and put them into a new version of SketchUp so you can just work on that small item without the complexity running in the background of your program making it run slower so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of Airstream restoration with SketchUp hope to see you on the next tutorial